Hello traders, welcome to the Ninja Trader tutorial and the second module charting. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use the data box. And uh, the data box is a cool feature on Ninja Trader that will allow you to get uh, even more information out of your chart so you can make better decisions when you're trading. And of course, so you can better analyze your charts and uh, price action itself. Now let's jump to the uh, to a euro US dollar four hour chart and uh, let's start with the lesson. Okay, so here's the euro US dollar four hour chart, and uh, there are two ways to pop out the um, data box onto your charts. The first one is to right click on uh, on the chart and uh, click here on show data box, and the second one is to click here on uh, this icon that has a magnifying glass onto it and click on it. Now this is what the um, data box looks like and as you can see here on the panel one we are looking in fact at the euro US dollar for our chart and uh, the information that we have uh, on the data box is pretty straightforward. We have the time that the candle opened, we have um, the price that it opened, um, we have the high, the low, and the close and the closing price and we have th an a very important piece of information which is the volume traded during that period of time now let's go and uh, let's look at uh, well first of all let me thicken this out for you guys because uh, i think uh we need we need a better we a thicker chart for us to for me to show you uh what this uh data box uh, actually can do there you go. Now let's say that uh, we want the information of uh, this candle right here, which is the candle that broke with this entire move to, or this entire corrective move to the upside. Okay. Now, uh, if you go th uh, through, uh, through, uh, no, I'm sorry. If you hover your mouse over the, um, over the candle, you will get the information that the candle is providing in the data box. For example, this candle opened at 8 a.m. in the morning at a price of uh, uh, 13.72, and as you can see at uh, the right of the chart on the hor on the uh, vertical axis, you can see that my cross point tool is actually at 13.72, which is the open price. The closing price is 12.57, and you can see on the data box it's also 12.57 and uh, the high and the low of the candle. Plus, you get the volume of the candle. There were 6,651 trades during this four hour time frame. And uh, if you go back a few candles, for instance, this um, small candle during this rangy market, you can see that there were only 7,092 trades on it. So uh, by looking at the, at the data box, you can know when uh, the volume is coming in and when you have momentum to either the upside or the downside. Now, this is not the only cool thing about the data box. Uh, the data box also, well, if you use indicators, the data box also will show you uh, the um, exact readings of the indicator at the time uh, you want. Now, um, Let's let's add a couple of indicators to the chart. Let's start by adding an an, uh, an RSI, okay, a fourteen period uh, fourteen period RSI, and uh, let's add a, a simple uh, moving average, a fifty period simple moving average, okay. Now we have both of these um, of these um, uh, indicators on our charts, and as you can see, we are going to go to the same bar that we were analyzing before. Now, if you look closely at the simple moving average, uh, at the time of this candle, uh, the simple moving average uh, was at uh, 1362. This means that the candle opened above the 50 period simple moving average and broke violently to the downside, meaning that this could uh, be the end of a corrective move and the start of a continuation of the move to the downside. And if you pinpoint for example, the end of this move, right about these lows, okay, you can see that the RSI uh, was in fact reading 9, uh, I'm sorry, at uh, this point right here, the RSI was reading 951, which means that we were in very oversold territory, which gives you another 
uh, information uh, for you to start um, looking to close your short position or maybe start a long position okay but this is what the data box does and uh, the cool thing about the data box is for example uh, let's say that uh, right now we want to look at the close of last Friday's uh, price action okay so what we're going to do we're going to go to um, uh, last Friday which was July the 10th right about uh, here at the close uh, and the close is at this candle right here and uh, you can see that uh, uh, the close of this candle was uh, um, uh, 0744 so what we're going to do is we're going to grab a horizontal line and uh, we are just going to uh, go to the data section of the um, of the uh, horizontal line the properties 0744 and uh, there you go you have the closing price of last Friday and as you can see right now we are testing this closing price and uh, this might be a good time to go long on the euro US dollar given the fact that we have tested this area a couple of times so this is why it's important for you to know how to work the data box because the data box is going to give you um, more information than just looking at the charts themselves